Kia ora koutou. In this video we're going to give a quick tutorial on how we can take a paper document like this one here and scan it into a reasonable quality PDF. Now this might be really useful if you're stuck at home and don't have access to your usual scanning equipment like many of us are right now. So all you really need to do this is one of these, a cell phone with a reasonable camera on it. Now first thing you'll need to do is install a scanning app. Now there are quite a few on the market, for example Cam Scanner and ScanBot are popular ones, but I'm actually going to recommend using Microsoft Office Lens because it's free, it is easy to use and produces pretty good quality results and it's fast. Okay, so you can, you can install this from the Google Play Store or the App Store or wherever you get your apps. You can even install it on a PC um, and use existing photos to build your PDF in there. Okay, so I've got it installed here on my Android. So I'm going to open Office Lens by tapping on it. And what we basically get straight away is a camera interface where you can see some existing photos from my gallery down the bottom there and a live camera. So I could use those existing photos to build my PDF, but I'm going to just start with a fresh document and take new pictures inside the app. All right, I can swipe the gallery out of the way so I get a better view. Now a couple of key features that we should point out before we move on. If we just hit the menu at the top there, um, there are some settings, in particular the resolution, 8 megapixels is the default, that seems to work pretty well so I'm not going to change that, but if you want more quality you can potentially bump that up a bit higher. That will just result in a slightly larger PDF. So I'll leave it at that. Also make sure we're set to document, you can set it to whiteboard, document, business card or photo. Um, it works really well for whiteboards as well if you've got one of those. Okay, so to start scanning all we need to do is hold our camera over the document, wait till it's picked up the edges, and it actually doesn't matter if it doesn't quite get it right, and I'll show you why in a second, so I'm going to make sure it actually doesn't. Take the photo, and you can see it now appears in an editing view. So the little um, symbol at the top with the the square with the extra corners on it, that lets you set where the corners are. So if it's if it's missed the edges of your document, notice it's got these bottom two corners wrong, I can just drag these corners into the right position and that will clear up the crop. Normally it gets it pretty good, but um, sometimes it misses, but it doesn't matter. So I'll drag those corners, I'll hit done, and you can see it's now straightened up. And the other thing you might want to do is change the filter it's using. So I swipe up on filters here, and I like the clear filter at the end, it seems to produce pretty good looking results. Alright, so I'm happy with page one, so let's add another page. So add new down the bottom left there, lets me get another one. And again, I'm going to swipe that out of the way, um, hover over the document, this time it's picked up the corners just fine. Better turn the paper over though. This time it's picked up the corners just fine hopefully, there we go. Take my picture. Um, and if I hit the orange arrow I can go into the edit view again and switch to the one. Like it's got the corners right, that's good. Uh, the only thing I want to change this time is I want to just again use that clear filter to take some of that mess out of the picture. Okay, so at this point in time I'm pretty happy with the document that I've produced. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And then we get a list of options as to where we want to put it. So you can configure all these different fancy options, but the one you probably want is PDF. Also potentially gallery if you want the pages saved as individual images. I use this for taking pictures of my kids' artwork and then tidying them up, but let's just save it as a PDF for now. I can edit the file name if I like, but let's just leave it as it is, and I'll hit save. And you can see there it goes, there's my new document and a previous attempt, let's just delete the old one shall we. Uh, anyway, so let's open this up, and there we go, it's a PDF in our PDF viewer, and that's pretty decent. So we can go ahead and save it to our Google Drive, or we could uh, share it with whatever. You can do whatever you want with it at this point in time, it's a PDF. So hopefully that was of use and you now know how to scan a document into a PDF. Alright, kakite ano.